Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert checkboxes in Word. I'm going to show you two different techniques and the advantages and disadvantages. So first of all, I've got some random text here and I'm going to show you how you can insert a checkbox at the end of a sentence and also into a table. So let's just put my cursor at the end of this first sentence here. And I'm going to press the tab key. And then I'm going to go up to this developer tab here. Now, if you don't have this developer tab, if you go along to Word at the top here and go down to Preferences, go to Ribbon and Toolbar, and then on the right hand side here, you'll see you have a list of different toolbar options. Down at the bottom here, you can see we've got Developer and you can see I've checked it. If yours is unchecked, just check it and then click Save and then you'll see your Developer tab will appear at the top. If We go to the Developer tab. This is where we can insert fields of text or checkbox or a combination box. So what we do is just select checkbox and as you can see down here, Word has inserted a checkbox. Now sometimes if you click on shading, this shading will appear. You don't have to have that. You can take that off if you wish. But at the moment, if I click inside there, you can't actually check it. The way in which you can check this checkbox automatically is to go up to the protect form icon here. Once you protect the form, you can see that checkbox will have some blue shading. If I click inside it, you can see now I have a cross inside. But what it also means, if I then go and try and insert another box, you can see everything is greyed out because basically the whole form has been protected. So what we have to do is unprotect the form until we've finished inserting all of our text boxes. So if I protect the form and uncheck that, unprotect the form, I can go down to this next sentence, press the tab key, go up and select checkbox. And there we have our two checkboxes. If that's all you want to do, don't forget to go up and protect the form and then you can insert that cross at just the click of your mouse. Now you can do the same over here and I'm going to teach you how to adjust the size of those checkboxes. So click inside your cell of your table obviously back to the developer tab and then across to checkbox. Once again you can see that checkbox has been inserted. Now don't worry if you can't see the top of your checkbox. If I zoom in you can see it does appear. Now if I wanted to make this checkbox a little bit bigger, if I double click inside it this checkbox form field option will appear. If you go down to checkbox size and select exactly, let's just put in 20, press OK, you can see I've now changed the size of my checkbox. I can do the same in this one, insert a checkbox, double click, go to exactly, put in 20, it's OK, go up to the home tab, and go to center text. Go back up to your developer tab, select protect form and now I can go into every single checkbox and check it with a click of a button. You can only uncheck these boxes if you're in the protect mode. If you've unprotected the form you won't be able to check anything. Now that's one way to do it. There is another way to do this but it is slightly more clunky. So let's just get rid of that. If you go up to insert, go along to text box and select draw text box, just click and drag out a text box. Hit the shift key and you'll get a perfect square. Then you can just move this, hover your cursor over the edge of your text box until it changes to a cross. And then you can just drag it up into your table just make sure you hit the shift key to ensure it's a perfect square. Now these are a little bit more difficult to move around. The advantage with having the developer mode 
is that it acts a little bit more like text and you can center it. Whereas here, if I was to center this text box, it acts with a little bit more like a shape and I can't center it to the actual cell. If I go up here and select the table, and go to layout and select this center text or align to center, it will move the text, but it won't move this text box. So that's a slight disadvantage with it. The disadvantage with having these checkboxes that we put in was that you have to have the developer mode. And I know some people struggle with the developer mode. So this is another way to do it, but it also means you've got to check it manually. So if I wanted to put a cross inside here, there's one of two ways you can do it. You can either go up to the draw tab, select a drawing utensil, pencil, and then you can just put a cross inside it, but you can see things start to move around and it's not quite so accurate. And again, if you want to tick this box, you can obviously just put a tick in it as well. Again, it doesn't look quite so finished, but if that's your only option, then that's how you can go about doing it. Even if I try to put things inside, you can see how that struggles to work. The other alternative is to insert another text box. So go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and drag out a text box, hit the X key. You can make this a little bit bigger if you want to by selecting it, going to the home tab and increasing the size of that X by using this increase font size tab. Just decrease the size of that text box a little bit by grabbing the corner. And then if you move it over the top, you can see it completely covers that text box underneath. So we just need to get rid of that black border and the white background. So click on it, go to shape format, go to shape outline and select no outline. Go to shape fill and select no fill. Now when you move it, make sure your cursor changes to a cross. You can see it's completely transparent. And once again, it's not the easiest thing to move around. As you can see, I've just about managed to do it there, but it's not centered and it's very clunky to do it. So that's the disadvantage about doing it, but it is possible to do it. And then you can just repeat the process on the next cell down if you want to. The great thing about this is you can just quickly go up, grab the X and just delete it. You don't have to use the developer mode. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.